Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Billy Real Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Software Package Series. Now let's move on to our hands-on for today. So let's go to set a folder, beginner number 5. So our topic for today in our hands-on is a what you call enter a value. The second topic is enter a date. The third is enter a time. And the last topic we have is format values, date, and time. Now let's proceed to enter a value. If you're going to ask me what is a value, a value is a number without any sign or symbol on it. So just like this one, 0 0.45. There's no sign if it is a peso or a dollar sign. Then that is considered to be a value. Another meaning of a value is that uh, if it is the result of uh, the operation as multiplication, it is called also a value. Now, to add a value or to enter a value in a spreadsheet directly into its cell or active cell, what you need to do is to press only those numbers you have on your keyboard. So, for example, I'm going to type 2, enter, then I'm going to type 3, enter, 1, enter, so 4, enter, 0, enter, 2, enter, and 5, enter. So those are considered to be a value because those number doesn't have any sign or symbol before its number or in, in the beginning of its number. Now, it is not a value just in case there is a what you call dollar sign on it we can call that in computer currency okay the, that's all how about if we're going to put a decimal point on it now if you want to put a decimal point on it so the best thing you're going to do is to click this increase decimal so if I'm going to click increase decimal it is increases by one so this is what you called incremental and it's still that is considered to be a value it could be also into a multiple form so that's all for how to enter a value now let's move on on how to enter a date so a date in a spreadsheet it can be categorized as the days the month and the year or it could be the month the day and the year so right here you will notice that the separator on the date entered is considered to be a slash or it can be categorized as division. So you can type here also 3 dash uh, 4 dash uh, 21 for example and that is considered to be a date. Look at that. It auto generates that the date is considered to be using a slash rather than a dash sign or a minus sign. So let's check out another. So let's move here. So 1, um, 20, 21. That's it. So automatically it generated. And that is how we enter date. Now, to modify date, you are needed to be seen on every data. Is What you need to do is to right click on it. Then you can go to the called format cell. And we have here the date. And you can choose here about those samples under its type okay this is the sample and this is the type so it could be categorized as with exact days and uh, words okay that's it so for example again so we can go to format cell and that is the date so we can revert it also that the starting point is the, the year then the month and the, the days or days and month you can click this also so it will generate the thing now just in case you've seen sharp like this so what happened is that the data is too long for the cell and it cannot accommodate all the data it will interpret as a uh, sharp the same as in calculator okay what do you need to do to solve that problem is to put right here at the edge of the column of letter E then double click 
So it will display the exact data and there should be no sharp thing included. Okay, now let's proceed to enter a time. To enter a time is almost the same as enter a date. Make it sure that you've entered in a time is a what you call colon. So right here I'm going to type 7. That's only the, the, the value that I put. Then 5 as an example of uh, entering a time. And then what do you need to do is to highlight then right click. You can go to format cell also. and there's a what you call time here under category so what you need to do is to click only uh, which you prefer of the type of uh, the time you needed then click OK and again it is the same there's a what you call sharp what you need to do is to go right here at the edge of the column F then double click then it will show OK so that is the idea on how to type time another is if you want to modify time like this uh, like this is something like uh, you need to right click ag again format cell then you can look at this uh, there's a what they call days month year that is custom you can go to time and there's a what you call pm right here there's a what you call exact uh, standard time we, we are using on 30 p.m. then click it so it's okay same process at right here right click format cell go to time can click this uh, 1 30 p.m. click ok then that's 11 10 a.m. that is how time works now let's move on to our last topic for today format values date and time what we have here is something like how to format value and date and time so these are considered to be values remember uh, there is no comma on it we don't uh, identify if it is thousand we cannot categorize if it is a date or something like a label so to formalize it that it is not a label we're going to format it into a value to format this thing what you need to do is to click only right here increase decimal okay two then we can put comma style and if we are in the Philippines you can go to the currency and you can go to the symbol drop down list right here and then you can find a peso sign okay the peso sign in computer is PHP so we have here PHP then click OK then again look at that so we have PHP here right here we don't see it anymore yet so double click and uh, double click on the edge of the column so we can uh, format its values now let's proceed to date to make this formalize format cell so we go to date and uh, the best date that I think this one with the asterisk let's click OK then double click on it so that's the date okay so just in case this thing are being considered it is what you call not a date function this one so you need to modify this another is by the time we need to format this format cell so we have can go to time and the standard time is this okay with uh, am and pm so you can click ok and you will notice we identified now am and pm on our time and that's how we format values date and time thank you for watching and good luck